Shane McGowan's widow carried on dancing into the night at a wake for her husband held at a modest thatched roof pub. Dozens of security men dressed in black stood guard outside the unassuming venue as Johnny Depp and Nick Cave joined Victoria Mary Clark and other mourners at the gathering. Around 300 guests crowded into the establishment with pints of Guinness and cocktails flowing in memory of the Pog singer. Earlier today at the legendary rocker's funeral, Victoria, 58, had danced around her husband's coffin with other family members, with the music-filled celebration of Matt Gowan's continuing into the late hours. A source told Mail Online, Victoria wanted Shane's farewell to be a good old Irish hooli. She knew there would be some tears later, but she just wanted a celebration. It's all about laughter, hugs and raising a drink or ten to Shane. There was going to be a lot of soreheads tomorrow morning. Depp has promised to keep in touch with Victoria despite the passing of his adored friend, and tight security enveloped him as he slipped into the party. A Celtic band provided the traditional Irish music tonight as Bali Common turned into Hollywood with dozens of men in black with earpieces barring the way for non-invited guests. Amongst the star-studded guest list were Liam O'Manley of the Hot House Flowers, John Sheehan of the Dubliners, Oscar-winning singer Glenn Hansard and singer Imelda May. The Thatched Cottage provides scrumptious food and cocktails. The menu offers monkfish, Irish steaks and red-hot curries. Earlier today, tens of thousands of mourners gathered along the roads between Nenog, Tipperary, to Dublin to say a final goodbye to the legendary punk rocker. Fans tried to touch the coffin, draped in the Irish tricolor, as it was pulled along by a horse and carriage. Others threw flowers or raised a pint of Guinness to the Pog's frontman. Matt Gowan's widow Victory Mary Clark in tears as she hunched over her partner's coffin outside St. Mary's of the Rosary Church in Nenog, Co. Tipperary. It was then lifted by six pallbearers, including Depp, into the church for the service, where a variety of songs rang out, including Haunted by the Pog. Depp, who was a long-term friend of Matt Gowan, attending his wedding in 2018, was joined by Hot House Flowers frontman Liam O'Manley as they read the prayers of the faithful during this afternoon's service. Australian singer Cave sang a rainy night in Soho as part of the send-off. Imelda May, who was a frequent visitor to Matt Gowan during his final days, Liam O'Manley and Declan O'Rourke then performed You're the One. Opening the service, Father Pat Gilbert reflected on the care Victoria had given to her husband up until his death last week. He died age 65 following a battle with pneumonia. He had been discharged from hospital just a week before after undergoing treatment for viral encephalitis, a condition in which swelling develops on the brain.